Matthew, were rower turned umpire, <laughs> and you have your fair share of history here at Henley Regatta. Got into a little bit of trouble in uh, previous years. Do you now have more respect for the umpires and, and what they have to do now you have actually become one? Yes. I, I, don't, I don't think I ever disrespected Not to say you never disrespected him. <laughs> ah, I might have disagreed with a few of them. But the, in any rowing race, in any, in any sport actually, there's a sort of a dialogue between the competitors and the officials, whether that's a literal dialogue or not. Mm -hmm. But there's a, you know, there's a sense of a balance, a to and fro, a bit of a discussion. And, and that, that can be happening during the race with a cox I spoke. I, I mean, I can warn them. Leander! Ultimately, an umpire can disqualify crews. You need to be authoritative whilst understanding of what they're going through. The, the crews are always going to feel passionately mm. that they think this thing, and it may be completely contrary to what I believe. Ultimately, as the umpire, I have to make a decision. That's what I'm here for. If it's a contentious decision, we haven't got the equivalent of uh, you know the, the cricket technology, which says, well, they would have been out for sure. Mm. We haven't got a fourth official, and we we go like this, you know, and then we'll have a TV replay. <laughs> it's you know, I've got to I've got to make that call, and and the crews can come and, and protest and, and 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 appeal as they see fit. What do these crews need to be aware of to make your life slightly easier as an umpire? Well, I mean. You know, they need to they need to steer straight. Matthew Pinson has told the St Paul's Scots Vlad Saigu to move over. He is doing the right thing. He's sending puddles down to wash the Westminster School down. There's gamesmanship for you. I mean we're seeing on the footage you see the, the state of the water. Yeah. It's a river. Yes. There are lots of boats moving around, not least of all us. Uh, there are these big lumps of wood that we put in to demarcate the course. If they hit them, it's not very Game good over. for that. Well, well, we had one. We had at least one boat hit the booms and still win this week. Blades scraping the moss off the booms down. Oh, there we are, clattered into the booms. Sometimes you see crews beginning to wander yes. when they get tired. And look at the Sir William Borley's boat. They need to get straight. They are heading for the booms at the moment. It's a very, very difficult race to get right, absolutely perfect. In fact, you're never going to do it perfect from start to finish, either as an athlete or as an umpire.